politics now and the results of several primary races which have national implications. Here's ABC's Sashana Walsh. It's the Super Tuesday of 2014, six states voting, and the primary day that helps determine who could win big in November's midterms. In Kentucky, it was a crushing Tea Party loss as Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell beat his opponent, businessman Matt Bevin, by a wide margin. A tough race is behind us. It's time to unite. To my opponent's supporters, I hope you'll join me in the months ahead and know that your fight is my fight. He preached party unity, then aimed his fire right at his Democratic opponent, Secretary of State Allison Lundergan Grimes. And if you look at my Democratic opponent this year, it's clear she'd be no different. She's a partisan's partisan who's been practicing party politics since she learned to talk. Allison Lundergan Grimes is Barack Obama's candidate. And that race will be a brawl to the end. In the shocker of the night, former Congresswoman and Clinton in-law Marjorie Margolis was toppled in her effort to regain her House seat by a state legislator half her age, Brendan Boyle. In Georgia, it was a seven-way brawl in the Republican primary for Senate, and yet again it was another stinging Tea Party loss. The two establishment candidates made it to a runoff. The Tea Partiers, all three of them losing. In Oregon, days of stories about Dr. Monica Webby's personal life, including an allegation of stalking by a former boyfriend who also poured money into her campaign, didn't matter. She beat her opponent and will be the GOP Senate nominee in that state. But it does leave her facing the general election wounded. And back in Kentucky, Allison Lundergan Grimes, McConnell's opponent and also a friend of the Clinton family, fired back, saying she won't answer to any president if she makes it to the Senate, no matter who he or she might be. Shoshana Walsh, ABC News, Washington.